Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be bringing you a video of Asia's Phoenix Morissette Ammon performing a good old classic, a song entitled Moon River. This is the theme song of Breakfast at Tiffany's, a 1961 Audrey Hepburn movie. But before anything else, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. Likewise, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win some prizes. As usual, the full mechanics are explained in one of my previous videos and I'll give you the link above. Check it out. Time for some quick shout outs. Hi to Angelica Sevilla. Happy viewing. Hope you enjoy today's video. Hello to Josie Baltazar. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'm very glad to hear that you're learning a lot from them. Shout out to It's Chesterific. Everyone, please check out his channel. It's all about food, so I'm sure you guys will learn a lot from it. So if you guys want a shout out in my next video, please tell me down below at the comment section. There is a reason why I chose to listen to this song with all of you today. Simply because I have never heard Morissette sing standards like this. So in other words, I'm very, very curious on how she will sound. By the way, I came across this video in the channel Stage Sessions. So if you guys want to listen to this uh, entire performance without any interruptions from yours truly, please drop by their channel. Again, Stage Sessions. Alright, let's get things started. Hey everybody, this is Morissette and thank you so much for joining today's musical sessions from home um, with me and my Sages family. Um, we just want to hopefully entertain you guys. She and, looks so um, fresh. Just continue to encourage everyone to stay positive, especially during these very, very challenging times. Uh, let's all stay happy and healthy. And here's a song that is uh, just one of my personal uh, favorite classics. Enjoy. As usual, she speaks very, very well. Even her speaking voice sounds very pleasant. Just want to say that. Just want to say that this is not the usual intro, not the typical intro for this song, but it sounds really nice and really light. Moon River is uh, one of my most requested songs, especially in weddings. It is not the hardest to sing, but since it is a standard, people are quite familiar with it. Thus, they like it. I'm crossing you in style Morissette is singing it in a very light, very airy manner, which goes really well with uh, the intro music. It's almost like she wants to lull us to sleep. Very, very relaxing. Oh, dream maker, you heart breaker, wherever you're going, I'm going your way. Sorry, gotta pause real quick. If I don't say this now, I will forget later. I like the subtle flirtiness she brought in the line, you heartbreaker, wherever you're going, I'm going your way. You heartbreaker. 
maker. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way. Very subtle, but very, very nice. Let's continue. Two drifters off to see the world. There's such a lot of world to see. I'm not sure if you heard it. Again, it's extremely subtle. The way she went from light and airy on the first verse. And now for the second verse, it's just light but no longer airy. That's a very good way to break the monotony of the verses. Let's go back to the video. When I the same rainbows end. Did you guys hear that exquisite transition from um, the words the same to rainbows end? A solid head sound for the same and then a sudden breathier sound for rainbows and just beautiful ah love it waiting around the bend my huckleberry friend I just love how clear and distinct her D's are. End, bend, friend. A lot of singers tend to forget about these small details. Again, I am a perfectionist, so I live for this kind of details. Also, uh, the way she sustained uh, the last syllable, the word me, is just perfect really really perfect listening to her now i feel like i have to be wearing a suit instead of this t-shirt Again, the airy quality in her falsetto sounds very, very soothing, very, very relaxing. The only critique I have for her so far is that she went a tad off key for the first ah. ah, 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 ah. That's it. Oh, dream. She is giving us a lot of subtleties in this song. The very slight changes in her volume, in the quality of her voice, even her riffs are uh, very, very subtle, which works for this kind of song. She's not overdoing anything, so that's a great move. Moving on. So obviously, this is uh, the final chorus of the song, the climax, so to speak. That's why she's starting to turn up uh, the volume. But I'm quite curious on how she will end the song, which I'll be discussing with you guys once we reach the end, okay? We're after the sun. My 
just gorgeous. The way she changed a few notes here and there to make it sound a bit different from the original version. Not too crazy, just a bit, just a bit. And of course, coming up is the ending of the song that I am pertaining to earlier. So let's listen to it. I'm kind of glad that she took that route. She didn't go uh, with an ending that usual belters would do. My huckleberry friend, Moon River and me, jumping one octave up. Instead, she did huckleberry friend, Moon River and me. Very low key, keeping the mood light and relaxing. It is so refreshing to hear her uh, perform easy listening songs like this. Although she is not widely known for these kind of tunes, it's nice to know that she can pull them off rather nicely. So what do you guys think of this rendition? Did it relax you? Comment down below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe, healthy and happy everyone. See you soon.